see what I did? Did you see the blue tarp? It's not just for mulch. Yeah, the tarp, maybe two more times and I'm gonna have to throw it away for gravel at least. Just one of the sides, I caught it between the road and the bucket, tore a little hole, but we'll get over it. The tarp is cheaper than one man hour, put it that way. And plus, I forgot a broom. You got your scissors, your saw, your can opener, you got your fork, you got your spoon. Corkscrew, file, pick. Man, it's pretty cool. What inspires people to come up with stuff like this? Hi, I'm Robert with Oakwood. Real quick, I just wanted to talk about the SK1550. I know Ditch Witch actually came out with a larger one, need that one, but this machine was brand new and I was the first guy to rent the piece of equipment from Chet's Rental in Brighton, Michigan. Thank you guys over there. I definitely appreciate it. I just had to move six yards of 21 AA dirty. I just wanted to take a minute to show everybody and share with everybody, with you, uh, the equipment that I had to rent for a small job. Now I had options, but I couldn't resist it. Brand new SK 1550 that's never been rented. I was the first guy. It didn't even have one hour on it, so I had to give it a whirl. Uh, typically, I would rent the SK 600s and stuff like that to move gravel or mulch or digging around the customer's yard or whatever it might be. But man, I have to say, wow. Now, I do know at the time of this filming, they have an SK 3000, which is a lot bigger machine. And I'm going to put a photo here. It's a three cylinder power plant, Yanmar 43 horsepower. Ground speed is 4.7 horsepower. Operating Weight is 1,500 pounds, give or take, and the machine weight with no attachments is 3,900 pounds. I'm going to leave links down below for everybody to check it out. Uh, Ditch Witch actually provided some photos and also a video link for you guys to watch and enjoy. But man, that was perfect, perfect piece of equipment for what I was doing because gravel and wheelbarrow and shovel, yes, you can do it, but it's so much faster and efficient and time-saving when you have the right piece of equipment. Ditch Witch SK1550 was that piece of equipment. The dash, the dashboard was so easy to operate. It was so simplistic. It had a nice cluster there. You can see everything, the RPMs, your parking brake. Yes, it was perfect piece of equipment for that job and uh, I really enjoyed running it. I wish I had more time with it, but it is what it is. You gotta go and make some money and you gotta do what you gotta do. So my question for you, uh, which would it be for you? You want a, a caged, typical skid steer sitting in, enclosed, you know, your visibility is not 100% when you're standing on that SK, whatever model it is, SK 600 all the way up to the 3000, you have complete 360 view, which is nice. Now, the only thing that I can think of that might be a little hairy is if you're, if you got a bunch of uh, concrete busted up or logs or whatever it might be, and you're trying to dump them into a uh, dump truck or something, they might roll out. You don't have that cage there to actually protect you like a typical skid steer would have. But man, I'm telling you, those things are like the Swiss Army knife of equipment. Did you see what I did there? The blue tarp? It's not just for mulch. 
man, did that save me some time on cleanup. But the funny thing is, I forgot the broom. I forgot the broom that was on my material list of things needed for the job. I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And yes, I do have a giveaway that's going on. It's a contest for April, and I will announce the winner on May the 2nd. I'm giving away a brand new Echo SRM 2620T, and I appreciate everybody and uh, couldn't do it without you. This is a learning experience for me, learning how to film, learning how to edit. I've never done this stuff before in my life, and I really, really enjoy it. But man, that SK1550, it's kind of like this. It's pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. See you later.